Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through spanning the trace guys. What is minimum cost spanning tree? Because in our next lecture, we'll be discussing about Prim's or Krishkal's algorithm. So that is the reason why first you need to know what is spanning tree first. So basically the trees introduction we have done in our first unit and we have done it in multiple subjects like discrete mathematics and also in data structures. So you can check anywhere or you can watch in first unit also we have done this introduction like some basic topics if you know like root, what are those things and everything you can understand. Okay. Okay. So spanning a tree. So basically spanning tree is nothing but the number of vertices. If the, if the number of vertices are n, then the edges should be n minus 1. So it is nothing but the minimal number of edges for a particular, for particular number of vertices. So basically minimum spanning tree is nothing but you need to have all the vertices vertices and you should not have any cycles or anything even in trees also we will be just avoiding cycles but you need to have minimum okay so this is nothing but the spanning tree like if there are n vertices there should be n minus 1 edges so all these trees which comes under spanning tree so make sure that the trees the condition of tree is that there should not be cycles remember that okay okay so if you assume here Spanning tree is nothing but a spanning tree is a subset of a graph. So basically if you assume a graph, in graph you can have loops or cycles. So if you want to convert this into a loopless, it will become like this. I will be removing this node. So it will become a tree. Right. So you need to remove this cycle somehow. So that is the main goal of trees. So a spanning tree is a subset of a graph which has all the vertices covered with the minimum number of edges. So that's what I was saying. So it is indirectly for n vertices, we need n minus 1 edges. Okay. A single graph, sorry, a single graph can have multiple spanning trees. So if you take a small graph, there could be some multiple spanning trees, guys, because all these problems you will be solving, they will be giving you graphs with multiple paths, loops, cycles, and everything. You need to find the spanning tree for it. Clear? Okay. So this is something you can say that conversion of a graph into tree also. Okay. So basically assume this is the graph given. So if you want to convert it into a tree. Okay. So you can break any one of the loop, any one of the loop making thing. So here I broke this thing. Here I broke this and here I broke this. So indirectly for a small tree also, I got three different spanning trees. Okay. So few will be saying that minimum cost spanning tree somewhere. You, I think you have heard that word. So basically whenever the edges between the vertices are given some particular weights then in that situation we can compute the weight of the graph guys or weight of the tree okay so weight of the spanning tree is nothing but the sum of weight of all the edges in the spanning tree so here if you ask me what is the cost or what is the weight of the spanning tree i'll be saying one plus two it is simply three clear okay so if i if you ask me what is minimum cost spanning tree then so minimum cost spanning tree is tree is nothing but here we are having multiple trees right so among this tree all trees everything will not be equal right so only few trees will be of small or small or less weight or less cost right so that is the reason why only one among them or two or rarely we will be finding two or more guys basically we will be selecting only one okay so minimum cost spanning tree will be one two three if you consider for this you'll be just breaking this edge to get this so one plus two is equal to three okay so in minimum cost spanning tree so to construct these minimum cost spanning trees we are having two algorithms guys. One is Krishkal's and the other is Prim's. So both the algorithms are easy. But when you are trying to learn algorithm, it will be a bit difficult guys. The algorithms are a bit tough when compared to the solving of the problem. Solving of the problem can be done without understanding the algorithm also. Okay. So let us try to learn the algorithm as well as the problem. So in the next lecture, I will be introducing you about Krishkal's algorithm and we will be solving a problem on that. Okay. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.